inside was frozen hard. Trees were white with frost, and bicycles hung from the bridges and water cars. Mercifully, there was little snow, and the two called for that. Nurse shivered James' driver as he and the fireman huddled on the sheltered side of the cab. James had an open footplate, and every day his crew came to work muffled to the eyebrows in scarves and jerseys. Sometimes water columns froze too, and then the engines couldn't get the water. But this never Driver stopped him beside the water column there. We'll give you a good topping up while we can, he said. There's no telling where we might get some more. James shivered as the icy water cascaded into his tank, but he knew the driver was right. They filled James's tank to the brim because the fireman forgot to tell the driver to turn the tap off. Water overflowed onto James's tender, making him shiver again. Right, said the fireman, jumping down from the footplate. Let's be off. I want to warm myself up, shoveling coal. We can't go yet, laughed the driver. They haven't finished loading the luggage van. Well, I wish they would hurry, grumbled the fireman, blowing on his hands. I'm frozen for standing on that tender. All engines have a tap called an injector. It allows the driver of the to transfer Before James felt thirsty. I need a drink, please, he said. His driver switched on the injector. But nothing happened. The fireman tried its duplicate. But still nothing. I've got such a pain, groaned James. Your injectors failed, said the driver. Longage of a bribe will have to stop and deal with your fire. Can't go on without water. Don't James, Henry would never let me forget it. The fireman laughed. You'll be all right if we just dab you down, he said. There's no need to throw the fire out like Henry did. They stopped near a signal box, and James's driver asked the signalman to telephone for help. The work seemed to be easy. James and I went to Rescued by a diesel, he snorted disgustedly. It's degrading. I won't go. But he soon changed his mind because now that his fire was down, his boiler was cool and he could feel the ice. The diesel was friendly. James was quiet at first, but by the time they had reached the works, the diesel had been over. And then the two of them were shattered by the old friends. once the ice melts. He was, and that wasn't all. Th Thanks to his new friend,